everyone. A very quick video just to show off the most recent commission I finished. I've done this for Josh from the East Angular Hobbit community. He's working on a, a secret army that he's going to be taking to the Strider, Strider Ring or Strider Cup. I can't remember which one it is. Um, he's going to be running a Corsairs of Umbar army. and It's not something that I've ever considered, but after having painting these, it's they're definitely a nice army. I guess the downside to it is that points-wise they're so cheap that you can end up having to pay a lot of models. So, what the Corsairs of Umbar are is, um, if you are if you were to watch the extended edition, when um, Legolas, Gimli and Aragorn come out of the um, Pass of the Dead, I think it's the first bit of the second disc, the extended edition, and there's the, the pirate ships going past, and Legolas is meant to fire a warning shot, but ends up killing them. Those are the Corsairs. So they're pirates from the south which are coming up to try and fight for Sauron and blah blah blah, all that sort of stuff. So what we've got is three models. Um, none of them appear in the film and I'm not sure on mentions in the books to be honest. Um, so I've got a feeling that these might be Games Workshop inventions but they fit in with the aesthetic nicely. So I've painted the heroes, um, the base troops so the regular Corsairs are being painted by Josh and then I know some of the um, the other troops like the Arblasters have been commissioned painted by Anton I also did a big batch of bases for these so have a look at the video for that because they're all the um, bone boardwalk bases from Generation Shift they're really nice and they fit with the aesthetic of the pirates and how these guys look so I'm going to go through these one at a time starting with my least favourite going up through to my favourite Least favourite was actually Dalamir. Now this is, it, I wouldn't say it's old, but it's certainly, it's certainly been out for quite a while. Because this guy came back, he was out of production I think, he came back made to order. Well, not made to order, he came back. Um, and people went crazy because they were like, oh my god, he's available again. So this guy, he he was okay to paint. I mean, I had some some fun doing a tattoo on his face. Um, doesn't quite look like the Games Workshop one, but I just wanted to try and put something. Because the lack of hair and lack of beard makes it all quite plain. And he does look very young. I did him in a slightly different um, paint job as well because I wanted him to stand out. There's a lot of browns and purples for Corsairs in the Games Workshop paint schemes. And whilst it's, it looks nice, it felt like he needed something a bit better. So I gave him some red trousers. And then a white cape. It's all dirty at the bottom because they've been at sea. And then lined with purple. So at least it looks a little bit richer. It's a little bit more... There we go, it's getting collapsed on. A little bit more high status than just browns and purples. So, one of the ideas I did have for this guy was, I thought, um, it was only after I'd painted it, that he'd actually look really good painted up as a black guy. Simply because the way the cape looks, the way he's posed, it just seems to fit. And I thought it would, be, it would look great, but... I didn't do it because I'd already um, committed to painting it this colour and I didn't want to go over again and then lose lots of definition. But I think if I was to do it myself, I'd probably paint this paint this guy differently just so that he stands out a bit more. Simply because it, it seems that he really fits that sort of look. So that's the first one. Didn't have much fun painting his face. It was a bit of a pain in the ass. The next one was the um, Hasharin which are basically assassins. So these are pretty much ninjas, if we're going to be honest. Now this is fine cast, so you did have the normal fun of having to clear up the fine cast. Um, I can't remember what they're called, but they're basically where the resin drains off. I had some fun with those. Um, but other than that, it's absolutely perfect. It's one piece, Not only, you don't need to worry about putting it together. Um, and that's something I should say, Dalamir comes in two pieces because his sword is separate. But this guy painted up very nicely and actually was quite quick in the end. Once I started 
really making progress with him. Focus, yeah. So it did the color slightly different. Um, it was a lot more. I think the cloak is black and the clothes are purple in the Games Workshop one, and the trousers are red, whereas I've gone a little bit of a different way around. Just simply thinking like the purple, um, the dark purple was at least a, a bit like camouflage at night. Um, no face to paint on this one, which was quite nice because it would have been a bit of a pain. But yeah, overall very nice. Fit very well on this generation shift base. So it looks like he's going up a step. Yeah. Another nice one. But the nicest, and it's probably unsurprising in this, because this is a very recent release from Forge World. Um, it's only been out a couple of months, and so it's brand new. The detail on the sculpt is absolutely fantastic. And it pretty much paints itself because it looks so good. This one is Delegmar, who I don't know what the background for him is meant to be, but um, I saw what it said on the website highest ranked Corsair captain under Dalamir's command. Delegmar has been granted the station of Gatemaster of Umbar. Yeah, okay, so he guards ports and gateways into the Shadowed City. So I, th I think this is a Games Workshop invention again, but. It looks amazing. So you can see a lot of detail on there. The face itself looks fantastic. I gave him a dead eye simply because of where the scar runs through the eye. I thought it might look a bit better. Lots of nice detail on the trousers. Nice detail on the jacket. Nice detail on the rope there. You can see the individual rope braiding. I tried to do something a bit different with the cloak. I wanted it to look like it was a dark deep purple and red kind of inspired by um, in Game of Thrones the king on the wall I can't remember what his name is um, Vance Ryder is described in the books of having a black cloak with red sewn into it red strips so kind of what I went for on this on his head can't really see it but into the snake tattoo just to try and make it look a bit more interesting a lot of them have got tattoos but it's quite difficult at this scale to get anything which looks better than just a blob I mean when I was doing Dalamir I did a um, tattoo on this side of the face as well but I had to take it off because it just looked it didn't look right even this one, I'm not 100% on, but it, it adds something because otherwise he's no focus, he's silly thing. Otherwise, he just doesn't look right. But that's it, these are the, the three I've been working on. Um, very nice models. Um, I'd like to think I've done a good job on painting them, especially this guy. It did take a few weeks to get them done simply because doing other things in between and not losing interest but just not finding the time to paint as much as I would like to there we go especially with it being summer so I mean, thanks for watching um, if anyone's got any questions just chuck them in the comments and I'll get back to you all cheers bye